Hey, I am John Barker, and welcome to another episode of Here to Record Show and Tell. And this show is all about making it easier to film conferences and live events. And one thing I find um, really useful is to use Motion, Apple Motion, to create a little opening graphic for uh, conferences. So you'll often see these at the start of conferences um, where it pops up the logo, little background images, maybe there's a little song in the background, and then it'll show a picture of the person who's speaking, uh, the title of their talk and the name of their talk, and then that will fade out or whatever and go to the actual footage of, of, the, of the talk. Um, if you're editing these conference talks, you'll find that you have to put one of these at the start of every video or sometimes at the end of every video. And every time you put one in there, you're gonna have to change the name and change the, the, the speaker's name, the talk name, their picture. So I find it useful to use Motion and create a little template and then throw that over into Final Cut that way every time you can drag and drop it into your project and use that every time. So let's give it a go and uh, I'll show you how to make it in motion and then export it over to uh, Final Cut and it'll make it so much easier whenever you come to edit um, every time you make a talk. So let's take a look. So I've got my Final Cut project open here um, in this little test graphics uh, project and I'm just going to throw in a little clip. This is one of the older episodes of Show and Tell. And you can just imagine for the purposes of this video that that is um, your fully edited conference talk. So now over in Motion, this is the older version of Motion, but it gets the same idea. Um, I'll just create a nice little, uh, nice little template file here. Um, let's throw in some background color, throw in some text. Um, actually, I'm gonna throw in some other stuff. So I've created my sort of uh, template. I've just thrown together this little thing, which is a nice gray background. It's important to have a background in there. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but the, the logo fades in. This is the conference logo, let's say. And then up fades the name of the talk that goes over two lines and the speaker name. I like to say over the two lines like that because then this template will serve for talks that are a bit longer in titles and short ones too. Speaker name, and then I've just put a little picture here that's where a picture will go um, of the speaker. And then that'll stay on for a few seconds and it'll fade out. And notice it's not fading out to that gray uh, color in the background, but it's fading out to pure black, uh, nothing in the background. That's gonna be important in a minute too when we bring it into Final Cut, is that if we go to that sort of background of the project that has no colors, no nothing, no anything on top, then that means that the footage will be shown behind it. So that's basically the, um, the file ready to go. A few things I wanna make editable in Final Cut is obviously the name of the talk. So I'm gonna select that uh, layer and pop over here to text. And I can just make sure that I uh, click right here on this little uh, drop down arrow and click on publish. And that means it'll publish to Final Cut. You can do that with a bunch of other things here too. So you can say the size of it. I want that to be published to Final Cut. So you could click that too, but I'm gonna leave the text for now. I also want to publish the speaker name text. So I'll just go ahead and publish that. Finally, I want to set the image that I made, this little picture. That's going to be the image of the uh, person who's given the talk. So I'm going to set that to a drop zone and it'll automatically, and then I'll just select it to publish to. So now I know that whenever I hit publish and send this to Final Cut, I can edit all those things in Final Cut in a second. Now file and um, publish template. And here I can set up a few things. I'm just gonna call this uh, show and tell test. Um, I like to click save preview movie and publish as Final Cut Generator. That's what you want to publish as because that's gonna be important in a minute. So click both of those and that'll give you uh, some options. In here I'm gonna put here to record custom theme, doesn't matter. That'll just publish that out to a certain folder within your Final Cut file. And um, in here I can see a little dial spinning around like crazy. That is just doing its thing. I'll get a notification, hopefully in a few seconds, to say that things are ready to go. And there we go, I've got a little shared successful notification from Motion. And I can head back over to Final Cut. Up in the uh, generator section, I will already see my little show and tell test here. So you can see there, logo comes in, text comes up, and then fades out to complete black. If I take that and dump it into my project, um, you can even see if I just play the end of it, that um, it'll fade out into 
that just like I set it up to do. Um, what I can do now is just jump in a little closer and select it. And if I see over on the side here in the generator um, preferences, I can actually just change the name. So this is the name of the talk. Uh, this talk is going to be about motion graphics in Final, oh, Final Cut Pro 10. And there you go, you can see I just made it go over two lines just to prove a point. My name is John Barker, <laughs> there you go. If I head back over here, I can actually just take an image of myself. So here's a little headshot looking very familiar to this, uh, to this shot. But I can just take that and put it in this little picture um, place here by just dragging it over and dropping it in this drop zone. And now if I see that, there you go, you can see me popping up. So I think this is just a simple way of uh, taking something that you will have to repeat so many times and um, throwing it into Final Cut so that you can just put that at the start of every one of your talks um, when you're editing a conference. It speeds up the process so much and it makes things so much easier. Hope you find that useful. I'll make some more little quick tip videos like this on Final Cut and Motion and making your life easier as a conference videographer and editor of long talks and a bunch of talks at the same time. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.